the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Amen. The position that these these uh, these scribes uh -huh. and these Pharisees actually took on, because from from knowledge gained now, these people are those who who adopted mm -hmm. the law. You did, it did and then you... they tried to. <laughs> <laughs> filter it and make it work for them. It did. And it, it wasn't it, even given to them. <laughs> hey, I was, I, it was amazing because there was one scripture in this, this uh, chapter that that I was keying in on uh, last, this week. And some of the people that I was talking to, because a lot, this is my, this is my uh, opinion, a lot of people are so legal minded uh -huh. that they they miss the, the 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 whole concept of how like you said legalism is 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 used as a weapon mm -hmm. to control people to yeah. control conscience you know one guy I was talking to he sit there we was talking we had a good conversation about things and then uh, he the, the the reference of uh, drinking came up right and and they said well i do have some liquor in my in my uh cabinet as if that was a a, a fault yeah that that, was that like, like if it was just something he needed to work on uh, purify himself or something <laughs> and, and, and and i think at the same time to say that he would use he would think that i may use it as a fault weapon oh, yeah. right and yeah. and and you know, I, I just I just dismissed any word about it because I was like, I, I have no problem with you having uh, alcohol in your thing. Uh, you just is the whole point is that we are under grace, and that's what I was trying to tell them too. I was really one part of the throne of grace. You remember saying to go boldly to the throne of grace, mm -hmm. uh, which is what this trip was all about. Is that you couldn't go to the law. Uh, boldly <laughs> because you're guilty of something of the yeah. law uh, uh, so so it's, it's a challenge but I wanted to I wanted to see what you think about this let me let me bring it up and and I'm gonna let's go live too at the same time too let's let's bring these people anybody whosoever in here to listen let me see I gotta I hit okay are you coming up Yep, I think it's going live. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, nope, I got to do the password thing. <laughs> Go live. Got it. Yeah. Now we live, good brother. Just want to throw that in at you so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. This, this, is, this is what I was working on the other day this week. And you're going to... I love your opinions on it. Because uh, it, it's, it's in vain... Or in the align with what we just talked about for a second. Uh, welcome to those people coming in. Uh, and if you're gonna, we welcome you if you're here, because uh, those they get like a notice. Uh, if you know you should subscribe, it'll give you notice. So and so is live. You know what I mean? Uh, but the teacher, uh, you know, I've been focused on, on, and I think you've been seeing it teaching the gospel Yeshua's way. Mm -hmm. All right, and and even with that, the script you see on my virtual screen is about teaching the word of God with simplicity and understand. Basically, right, Nehemiah eight eight. So they read in the book in the law of God what distinctly, and gave sense and caused them to understand the reading. And and that's basically the the concept behind our platform, right? With to basically make a simplicity and understanding yeah. of the word of God, and. The focus has been this week and last week and whatever too was, and you see that scripture that that, that title in red, God will is for all men to be saved. Yes. And and did you know that some people and I think you you probably 
heard it before too. Some people have a problem with that statement. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. On both sides. Yeah, and 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 the issue makes sure people understand. Yes, I understand. All men will not be saved, but it's not. It doesn't take away from His will for all men to be saved. He's not going to make men be saved, but He's opened the door for all men to be saved. You know. And, and the foundational scripture I was using, I think we talked about last week, was you know, like Genesis, you know, first of all, Genesis 1, 26, 28, he made all of us in his image. Mm -hmm. And he blessed us, male and female, he blessed us. And then the, the, the redemption plan started with Genesis 12 with Abram. You know, verse, verse 3 said, because you are, you know, all families will be blessed because of you. And then... 22 18 all nations shall be blessed because of you you know mm. because you obeyed my voice uh and then christ is the one the seed you know notice in galatian where he was that seed that gave us access to the father uh so that we can have the same promises and be heirs with abraham uh, according to the seed right being in christ so Yes, all men, his will for all men to be saved. And I think when we do the Lord's Prayer, we talk about the fact is, thy will be done. Right? And even in the Garden of Gethsemane, even Christ said, nevertheless, Father, not my will, mm -hmm. but thy will be done. Uh, and I want to throw this other one in there in Matthew 7, where you're talking about, remember that one scripture was saying, not all men. It says, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. But then in that same verse, it says, but those who do the will, suffer those who do the will of my father, which is critical then, right? You, you can, people can call somebody Lord, but if they're not doing his will, then you, you, you wasting your time because it is his will that matters. Your, your, your ministry should all line up with his will, you know? Uh, all vision, all your visions are lined up with the will of God, not tell people they can't come in. And I'm gonna show you what I'm really talking about. But the bottom line is, woe unto you hypocrites! And and that's <laughs> that's the that's the concern that every individual should have. Uh, am I a hypocrite, or I'm a, a child of God? And if if you have to ask that question, you have to ask yourself: If I'm not a child of God, why, why, why? You know, what's, what's preventing me to be a child of God, right? And then I think I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give my answer for that is, if you're trying to keep other people being child of God, then you're probably not a child of God yourself mm. because you're trying to prevent people from coming in. And I wanted, let me see if I can get that script in there. Don't come up. Let's go here. Next one. I think you can also add that, you know, there's those that believe that everybody, is a child of God, you know, regardless uh, whether they believe in Christ or not, regardless of if they're the children of of Israel or or Abraham mm -hmm. or not, you know, uh, and that is is just as bad, in my opinion. It is. They they, uh, they just think that. You know, God is, God created everything. So God, we're all God's children. We're all God's children. You know, and it doesn't matter. I heard a person say that God's in heaven and in hell. And I was like, yeah, but <laughs> 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 you, is that where you want to be is in hell? <laughs> with <God> Exa or... <laughs> exactly, 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 he, exactly. Because, you know, he's quoting from the scripture, isn't he? And, and and the point yeah, but, is that <laughs> but he has no clue because he's 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 using human reasoning exactly that's and, what we and, do and what he was told I'm I'm sure to 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 uh, replace revelation and knowledge uh -huh. and understanding uh -huh. right <laughs> of of God's will and God's word and God's way <laughs> exactly. It, that's what that's what a lot of people come at you using human reasoning. Yeah. Uh, and and a lot of people, 
even I was I had a conversation with one of my relatives. In a lot of cases, I will refer back to the scriptures, and not for legalism, right? I, I will refer back to the scripture uh, where the person was talking how, and I, and I thought about you when the person was talking about the zeal. Remember that the zeal you had in the early stages of of your Christian walk, uh -huh. uh, and how that could. Uh, how that could she's you know the person said I went to that stage and oh, yeah. and then I I, I rechain I refocus myself and I see you are in that stage that was her, her opinion right mm -hmm. of my zeal and I was saying is I think mine's a little different because I'm not trying to Bible thump anybody uh how would you refer to the scriptures to show you why I may say what I'm saying, uh, but it's not not from legalism, and 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 the, the the zeal or the fire you have for the gospel, the appreciation that you have for the gospel, uh, and to be able to talk about the gospel to people who so ever want to listen, is to say this is good news. There's some good news here. You want you proclaiming good news. See, mm -hmm. I think when you do the law, you're not proclaiming good news. You 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 really uh, you, you bring in bad news <laughs> because because with luck, with legalism, you bring in the curse, you know. And yeah. most people are guilty of some form or fashion of the curse. And you know, when you remind people. Huh? All people, <laughs> all the sin that comes short of the glory of God, oh. right? So what you end up doing, you're making a person conscious of being short, coming short. Yeah. Yeah. When the gospel is talking about, it's it's not about coming based on the law. It's come based on a promise, and it's based on a grace, and it's based on a mercy, and it's based on a love. And if you can get people to understand. God loves you, and that statement you just made, like you said, somebody goes in and say. We're all children of God. They'll be like, oh, I don't like that. And you you both to say, by grace, by faith, and mercy, we're all children of God. And the good news is you can choose not to be. You can be like the prodigal son. You can either choose to return back as a slave <laughs> yeah. or servant instead of a son which i think some people do when from legalism perspective because even they because you remember the the older son i i you know you never gave me anything yeah and so i and talking man, about rules exactly you know, what i did i i've been here all this time i've followed all your rules i tended oh, the sheep i see you know i, I yeah. fed the, the flock i i kept this place up yeah and yet, yeah you you never gave me, gave me no, anything. No, I gave you all that ammo. <laughs> <laughs> you did, and and it, it didn't it didn't understand it and didn't yeah, appreciate it. Didn't appreciate it. Right, because he was based on the law. And then the yeah. other son was coming back to try to come under the law himself. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And the man said, No, you my son. <laughs> you were dead, but now you're alive. Yeah. And you you, the other older son, you should appreciate that fact, not what you have done and appreciate the fact is that really everything I have is yours because I gave it to you you know uh, and, and I think that's what happens with legalism is what I'm trying to say even when I did the the uh, I, 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 I put in the you know Exodus 20 you know where he gave God came and gave the told the Ten Commandments to the children of Israel and you remember they drew back Right, they saw the thundering and everything. They drew back and said, uh, "Moses, you go talk to him." And it, it, you know, it's interesting when they said, "If we talk to him, what, did you catch that?" That's a good point, isn't it? If if you, let me see, if you if you uh, talk to him. We'll die if you know if you no, if you if we talk to him. If we we'll we'll we <laughs> we <laughs> he said we yeah. But you know something that's interesting. What's that? When the law came, uh huh. 
<laughs> they moved away from it. They, they moved away from it. And so when you try to adhere to it, you move away from it. You, 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 woo. It's the uh -uh. Same you just say something. You can't go to it by works. Yes. You move away from, there's not something that you move away, you move away from God. Yeah. Yeah. You, you move away from, from being in right standing. Yeah. Yep. With God to be from being righteous. You, you, <laughs> you can't be righteous in and of yourself. <laughs> so the law pushes you away. <laughs> it, it, ooh, and it was made for that. You know, I think another thing too is not only just push you away from God, it pushes you away from one another. Yeah. Because the, somebody is at fault all yeah. the time. All the time. And anybody who deceived themselves and think they're not, think they got it going on. Uh, yeah, you got you got someone who's trying to enforce the law mm -hmm. that can't keep the law. Right. And, and that's that's from even Moses. Yeah, right. He, he's included in that. Right. The one who it was given to is included. He couldn't cross over because he couldn't follow. He couldn't follow directions. He exactly. He he because he didn't right. He didn't understand the. Uh, all he was trying to do is he hit, he struck that rock, right? Yeah. He didn't understand the principle of what God was trying to to bring, yeah. which is that 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 rock is Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I wanted you. Well, I wanted you to speak, Moses. I didn't tell you to strike the rock this time, yeah. did I? I yeah. want you to speak to the rock. And well, there's a reason. A transition to being. A, a a a spiritual leader mm -hmm. instead of a physical leader yeah the physical yeah. leader he, he was always physically doing something instead of just speaking god's word which is godlike yeah who spoke yeah. creation into existence yes christ like Ooh. who spoke god's word who said these things that met, that that just moved mountains. Yeah. If, you, if you would just speak to that mountain, yeah, yeah. it would be removed. <laughs> woo, woo. People, if y'all hear what the brother just said, that is the reality. That is the truth. That he wants us to to speak. Remember, left life and death is in the power. In the power of the tongue. Of the tongue. And he was trying to show a principle. Death and life. Definitely, like it, he was trying to speak that. He was trying to. God was trying to demonstrate to to the congregation that the word itself, yeah. the power of the word itself, could bring that water out of that 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 rock. And now look, the rock, water coming out. What's that water symbolize? It oh, yeah. symbolizes yeah. the word. Yeah. Yes. Interesting, isn't it? So God was trying to do a process and say, oh, you're not, you're not, you, you ain't going in. <laughs> you ain't going in because you, 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 I can't take you in with that, yeah, that, that, that. that mentality, you know, and, and, and he's, he's was doing it because he was frustrated with the people, right? Yeah. He was frustrated with the people. He was like, you stiff neck jokers. And, and so you almost think it's like, damn, man, he, he didn't make it. But like I say, here's the, the uh, after he gave the, the, the commandments, right? There they are. He said, in 18, and all the people saw the thundering and lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they, like you said, they removed. Now the question, if you, if you don't put it in the content, what they re they remove themselves away further from God, mm -hmm. right? It was they, they remove away from they, they they saw the thundering, the lightning, the noise, and the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Moses, speak thou with us. See, I can I can I can deal with you, Moses. 
because I can, I can, you know how a couple of chapters down later, not a couple, a few chapters down later, they said, we don't know what happened to him. <laughs> you know why he was up in the mountain? Yeah. Uh, I think he, he, what happened to him is what we're concerned about ourselves, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so uh, they, he said, but here's the key, what's that key word right there, right? And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Lest we die. And why would you, you know, what was your comment about why would they say that? Why would they say lest they die? Ah, uh, man. It's, it's, I think that this, this is the, uh, the fear that the enemy put on to be mm -hmm. honest with you, mm -hmm. because he always wants to do the opposite mm -hmm. of what God wants to do. Now, these people already gave themselves to them. To, mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. but, the same uh, thing. It's, it's, you have one giving them life and one that gave them bondage. And, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and yeah. they rather listen to the one that's giving them death and mm -hmm. burden and, 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 you know, uh, uh, and even return. That, that's something that's even more crazy. You make a God and you want to go into bondage, go back mm -hmm. to bondage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of following a God that has delivered you from mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so... I think this was uh, this wasn't the first time they were expecting to die. You know, yeah. they were complaining uh, about you know going through the desert. They were complaining about being stuck at the river, you know, and 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 before God separated the waters for them to walk through. They complained exactly. about that. They complained about food. Mm -hmm. they complained about water. Right. Uh, they, they just constantly complained about everything instead of just walking in faith. Mm -hmm. and, and then they also wanted to go back then, right? Sometimes, yeah. matter of fact, if you think about it, this, this event occurred before the golden calf. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I stand corrected. I, I was from when he went up. That was thought, that comes later, right? To get the I thought when he came down they were already. I'd have to read that again. Remember they went up and while he was coming down, he heard noise in the camp. Uh -huh. Remember Joshua saying, What this what you know, he was asked to Joshua what's going on, right? <laughs> this noise in the camp. And I think matter of fact, Joshua asked about the noise in the camp, but Moses was coming down with the tablets. Uh -huh. You know? And uh when he came down he threw those tablets at the, at the, uh, I guess at the calf. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that's, this is, that's later down. The okay. golden calf thing. This is what God wanted to yeah. meet with them, you yeah. know? But I think the less we die is, goes all the way back to Genesis chapter three, mm -hmm. right? If you eat this fruit, you, you will die. Right? That yep. was the commandment he gave Adam. And he even put that little gravy on it. If you touch it, you're gonna die. Right? And 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 the audacity of the devil was you the, the very contradiction, you yep. shall not surely die. Remember? Mm -hmm. What happened after they opened once their eyes were open, they hid they you know, they hid themselves. Why? because they were worrying about the death. And in reality, they died when they ate the fruit, right? They spiritually were disconnected from God, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? They was, that's what happened because they saw they was naked. They weren't naked before. And physically, they were naked, weren't they, were they not? You can't remember? Yes, physically. 
physically they were already naked. That was not, and they knew they was naked. Based on the book, based on the scriptures, they knew they were naked. It was right here, Genesis. Let me see if I can bring it up. Let me come off the share right quick. <laughs> And all this is important for people to understand. That's why we want to study this to our self-approved because it's so many things interrelated to, to the topic. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see right here. Genesis chapter 2. I'm going to bring it up in a second. I just want to get to it. It was the last three verses or two verses that were in the scripture. I'm going to share it. See what you think here. Okay. I'll let you go there. It says, I think it said the, I think it's actually, well, well, 24 and 25, what you got? Therefore, shall a man leave his father, cleave unto his wife? No, that's not it. It's not, it's the last one after 25. After 24, 24 just okay. leading to it. Okay, and they were both naked, the mm -hmm. man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Meaning they, see what I'm saying? They they were not ashamed the fact that they were naked. So that means they knew they were physically naked. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory 